أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد in the previous episode, we spoke about the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-Kareem, which means that He is the most generous. In today's episode, insha'Allah ta'ala, we will discuss another of the names of Allah azza wa jal, which has a very similar meaning to al-Kareem, and that is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-Wahhab. Al-Wahhab means the bestower. What is the difference between al-Kareem and al-Wahhab, the most generous and the bestower? Al Karim is someone is the one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is generous and he gives without the fear of poverty. Allah Azza wa Jal, his treasures are so vast and so deep that he gives and he gives and he gives and he gives without being asked and he doesn't fear any type of poverty. Jalla fi ula. But Al Wahhab is the one who bestows. He bestows certain parts of his generosity, certain aspects of his bounties and his grace and his blessings upon his individual servants and slaves. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Qur'an is often used and described with this word al-wahhab, that Allah azza wa is the bestower. When we look at the examples of the prophets of Allah azza wa the prophets alayhim salatu was salam, for example, when they would seek children from Allah azza wa they would use the word, O oh Allah, bestow upon us a child. They wouldn't say, oh Allah, from your generosity give us a child because Allah's generosity is expansive. It goes to everything and everyone. It is general. But the bestower, Al-Wahhab, is the one who specifically gives you certain parts of his bounties and his blessings, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why the Prophet Zakaria alayhi salam, who in old age still had no children, he came to Allah azza wa jal and he made a dua and he said, هُنَالِكَ دَعَى زَكَرِيَّا رَبَّهُ That is where Zakaria raised his hands up in dua. قَالَ رَبِّ هَبْ لِي مِن لَدُنْكَ ذُرِّيَّةً طَيِّبَةً And he said, O oh my Lord, bestow upon me from yourself a child that will be righteous. إِنَّكَ سَمِيعُ الدُّعَاءُ For indeed you are the one who hears all invocations. Zakaria alayhi salam asked Allah to bestow upon him a child. And Allah Azza wa Jal gave him Yahya alayhi salam. The Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, another example of a Prophet of Allah who only had children in very old age, when he came to thank Allah Azza wa Jal for the two sons that Allah bestowed upon him, Ismail and Ishaq alayhi salam, he also used the word bestow. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, Alhamdulillahi alladhi wahaba li ala al-kibar, wahaba li ala al-kibar Ismail wa Ishaq, inna rabbi la sami'u dua All praise is due to Allah, who bestowed upon me in old age, Ismail and Ishaq. Indeed, my Lord, here's the invocation of those who supplicate to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again mentions that Ibrahim alayhi salam used the word of bestowing upon, uh, uh, bestowing children upon him alayhi salatu was salam. And that's why the scholars of Islam say that Allah azza wa jal bestows two types of blessings. Number one is the al kareem type of blessing, the general type of blessing, the generosity of Allah that touches everyone, Muslim, non-Muslim, good doer, pious person or evil doer. Allah Azza wa Jal is generous towards all of His creation, the animals, the ants, the fish, the birds, the trees. Allah is Al Kareem. But Allah Azza wa Jal also has a second, more specific type of generosity, and that is Al Wahhab. That is what He specifies for His awliya, for His believers. And that's why one of the du'as that we are taught to make is the dua that Allah Azza wa Jal gives us the specific blessing He bestows upon us, the specific blessing of guidance. As Allah Azza wa Jal says, رَبَّنَا لَا تُزِقْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ إِذْ هَدَيْتَنَا وَهَبَ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَهَّابَ O my Lord, O our Lord, do not let our hearts go astray after you granted them guidance and bestow upon us from yourself mercy. 
for indeed you are Al-Wahhab, the bestower. And so the mu'mineen, the believers, they ask Allah Azza wa Jal for specific types of blessings. The blessing of righteous children, the blessing of guidance, the blessing of mercy and forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. This is the meaning of Al-Wahhab. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, when it comes to making dua in this month of Ramadan, when it comes to increasing your tawakkul in Allah Azza wa Jal in this month of Ramadan, Make sure that you use the name of Allah Al-Wahhab when you ask Allah for guidance, when you ask Allah for salvation, when you ask Allah for mercy and forgiveness, when you ask Allah that He makes your children righteous and pious for you. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. billahi min بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم